people say there is evidence that humans basically imprint to some extent on the opposite sex parents so that if you the traits that you look for in your partner or the traits you find a, attractive in the other other sex are somewhat determined by your parents traits the sexual imprinting um, in juveniles is something that that from an evolutionary perspective often makes a lot of sense you you're reared by individuals who were successful at reproducing. So by um, uh, imprinting sexually on uh, something that you've experienced in your early childhood, you're picking an individual that has attributes that probably made them successful at mating. Some of the earlier studies that were done um, in domesticated animals uh, looked at the effects of cross-fostering uh, the two closely related species of sheep and goat. So giving um, nanny goats um, young sheep to look after and giving female sheep um, young goats to look after and the extraordinary thing about these studies is the orientation of the individuals later in life towards forming sexual partners um, was influenced by early life experiences and that's particularly strongly affected in the males and not in the females. So a billy goat brought up by a sheep will for the first few years of life um, prefer to mate with or select um, a female sheep to mate with um, rather than the female goat which would be the correct species. <laughs>